you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own and very busy Amaru. As you may well know, I have released an album a month ago and it is going great. I have received a couple of very positive reviews of the album and I have done a couple of interviews, some of which are already published. I would like for you to go to www.amaru.nl, my official website. Click on the News and Press Releases tab and you will be caught up to speed about everything that I've done so far to promote the record. I just want to extend a heartfelt thank you to all of you here on YouTube that have uh, purchased the album. Um, the album was released in two editions, the regular commercial edition, this one, and the special collector's edition, this one, which is printed on linen. Again, go to my website amaru.nl or go to my label website amaru-music.com for all the details, alright? If you're too lazy to go to the website, of course, in the description below all of my videos, there are plenty of links for you to choose from. My official web store, my official social media fees, I mean, you name it, it's all in there. All right? Now, on this video, I am going to cook a traditional soup from my country. And just an FYI, it is July the 1st, 2018. It's very befitting that I do a video um, <laughs> that I present to you a dish from my country on this day because exactly 155 years ago, slavery was abolished in my country. So we're in a very celebratory mood and um, I figured, you know what? I am going to cook a traditional soup from the homeland. It is not one of my favorites, but it's a very popular soup nonetheless. I know how to cook it, but I've never yet cooked it myself. So. I called in the help of my very own mom. Yes, so she is on the video. You will not see her face because my mom is a very private person. Unlike me, I'm a major ham. My mom is a very private person. She's not even on social media. She doesn't like it. She doesn't understand it. But mom was here yesterday to help me, you know, to, to supervise the whole, the whole process. And she's also helped me to grade, you know, some of the ingredients, which you will see in the video. My nephew, my three-year-old nephew was also here and he was a handful. I love him. He's not making an appearance either on the video, but you will hear his voice. And um, lastly, what I can tell you, I, it's going to be a long video. I know some of you don't like long videos. Bear with me. I have to go in depth with you, um, especially when I cook things from the homeland. And my mom does a lot of explaining also, so that um, causes the video to be a little lengthier because when I, like I said in my previous videos, when I show you how we cook in my country, I want to give you the real deal. I am not one of those people who moves to Europe or who moves to America and then all of a sudden all the dishes from the homeland are no longer traditional because we live in the West now and it has to be done this way because we're modern. Not today, not here. Okay? On this channel, when I cook traditional recipes from my country, I stick to the recipe because that is the preservation of your dishes. I'm very big on that, all right? What I also want to say before we continue to the video, I want to welcome a couple of new subscribers to this channel and less than a handful, less than a handful of new subscribers on the other channel, Amaru Online. Thank you for your subscription. Welcome to my online mayhem. I hope you'll enjoy the content. And now, without further ado, let us continue. Okay, you guys, so what I have here is my salted beef. And those of you that have been with me since the beginning, you know what I'm gonna do next. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash the salted beef. Then I'm going to bring some water to a boil, put the salted beef in it, allow it to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna change the water and repeat the same thing once more. You bring it to a boil, you continue to cook it until the meat is nice and tender, upon which you chop it up into nice little chunks. All right, let's get on with it. All right, you guys, here we go. You simply rinse the meat just like this. I rinse it a couple of times, you know, because that's the way I do it. 
So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my pot. I'm going to fill this up with water. I'm going to add the salted beef to it. Just like so. Then, I'm going to show you what I always do when I tenderize my salted beef. Where's my towel? Before I take the pot to the stove, I always add a couple of bay leaves to the water and a couple of pimento corns, just like so. And this is the way I always do it. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want to, but I find that the bay leaves add a nice and subtle taste to the salted beef. All right, so let us take this baby to the stove. Okay, you guys, as you can see, the water is boiling and there is some foam forming at the top. What you want to do, you want to take your slotted spoon and you want to remove it, just like so. All right? All right, you guys, so you're going to allow this to cook for another 15 to 20 minutes. Then you're going to change the water and repeat the same process all over again. Okay, you guys, so my salted beef is all done. It's nice and tender. And as you can see, it is still steaming away somewhat. What I'm going to do next, I am going to chop the meat into nice little chunks. Just like so. Not too small and not too large. Keep that in mind. And the reason we're adding the salted beef is because this meat was cured in lots and lots of salt. And the salt adds a particular flavor to the beef. All right, so that is why we're adding it. My hands are clean, but this is what you're um, looking at. All right, not too small, not too large. You just want to have a hint of that um, cured salty taste somewhere in the back of your throat. All right? All right. Now, some people leave this fat on the meat. I always remove it because, you know, there's no need for me to add <laughs> any more layers of fat than the ones I already have. So, <laughs> I always remove them. And there we have our salted beef, nicely chopped. That is the fat, which I'm going to get rid of in a minute. But guys, these are, you know, the chunks that you want. Like I said, not too small, not too large. All right? Now let's continue. Yeah, we do. Okay, that's how much water. Let's water or not? Let's cook. Let's cook. Okay, with all the rest of it. Okay. Yeah. En het maakt niet uit, je begint met zoutvlees of kip, maakt niet uit. Maakt niet uit. Oké. Okay. Nou, dan beginnen we met zoutvlees. Oké. Okay. Dat draait dit ding. Ja. Yeah. En dit kip, ik heb die kip um, gisteravond heb ik die kip uh, gemarineerd. Ja. Yeah. Heb ik het een nacht laten trekken. Mooi zo, mooi zo, mooi zo. Niet aan. Je moet allemaal erbij. Ja, maar wat alle. Ik heb met uh, een bouillon blokje, een um, kippenbouillon. Ja. Een beetje zout en een beetje zwarte peper heb ik Ja, is toch uh, mooi. Oké, okay, dus dat we op het Ja, je hebt het daar voor een Hi, mijn kondje snop. Oké. Dan ga ik nu die uien erin zetten. Zo. So. En jij zet geen laurierblad, maar ik zet twee kleine laurierblaadjes erin. En ik begin met drie blokjes, ja? Ja. Want die kip heeft al uh, smaak eigenlijk. Ja, echt Maar zo meteen gaat die kokosmelk ook erin, dus dan... Hij voelt je zo maar... Nee, maar in voorzichtig naar een zoutoeter. Ja, natuurlijk, maar kokosmelk is graag dat je zo van zoutoeter Oh. Mm. Oké, okay, en die uh, hoogte die lontai gaat er ook gelijk in? Yes. Dat wil je bij elkaar boren? Ja. Oké. En als garlic ik kan trouwen, want ik bedoel dat ik naar kassie wat garlic, nee, ik ga er aan smaak. Oh. Oké, 
Dus jij zet geen knoflook erin? Nou, dat niet. Oké. Okay, dus hebben we hebben nu de cassava aan het snijden. Ja. En die om cassava. Te schillen. Ja, die cassava aan het snijden. Ja. Dan moet je even uitleggen waarom je die cassava gebruikt. Die cassava ga je raspen. raspen. En het wordt gemengd met die geraspte groene banaan. Ja. En dat, die cassava helpt dat die groene banaan, wanneer je er bolletjes van zou maken om in de soep te doen, mm -hmm. dat het geen knikkers worden. Want het wordt het, het, niet hard. Het wordt hard. Dus aksaba en je dus, safing. Ja, aksaba en je safing. En daarvoor aksaba de. Oh, 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 oh. En er moet ook een ei erin. Oh, oké. Okay. Ja. Maar dat gaan we zo doen. Ja. Oké, okay, dus zo. Er zijn Schil. mensen die niet weten hoe je cassava schilt. Je maakt een inkeping. En dit is Abdek. Saba Bege, Shakil. Dit zijn geen Surinaamse cassava's volgens mij. Nee, man. volgens mij ook niet. Dat moest de Af Afrikaan wang. Of, of uh, van Costa Rica of zo. Want Surinaamse cassava nee, pier zo. Nee, Surinaamse cassava nee, pier zo. Het moet heel erg glad. Ja. Dan moet het eraf gaan zo. Mm -hmm. Kijk, zo. Ja. Kijk, in één stuk moet het eraf komen. Ja. Dan is het goed, toch? Juist, kijk. Mm -hmm. Oké, okay, dus nu snij je die cassava door midden. Oké, okay, cassava door midden gesneden. En nu haal je die nerf eruit. Eruit. Dat uh, dikke gedeelte. Oké, okay, die is nou old fashioned hier, hè? Ja, moet Nu wordt de cassava geras. Wat zeg je? Oh, speel mooi voor je, ja? Je drinkt niet, broer. Oké. Oké, je gaat nu die banen schillen. Ja, in die nerf. Oké, okay, dan maak je een inkeping. Ja. Zo. En dan open zo. Uh -huh. Oké, okay, en nu zijn we de banaf aan het grieten. Juist, daar komt de term griet, bana vandaan. Mm -hmm. Nee, no, nee, no, nee, no, nee, no, wat moet je? Ik heb me bedoeld, even een feit, maar ik wil nog één. Met je, ik wil. Dat ben ik voor hier met de mara. Afvrouw Reken, calculeer in wat ik oud chak wij. Ja, dat was even dat. Even dat ik voor dat in een in een lobby. Dus mis dat ik in een lobby. Mis lob als super, maar mis lob de de dumplings. Mis kan ook die kan die mala mala ik kan die mis. Mijn probleem is niet dat mijn nog ready komt. Ah ah ah. Oké, ondertussen kijk ik even naar die soep. Het begint al een beetje op te borrelen, mama. Ah, je is niet erg. Je kan borri. En dan trouwen we een mooie... Uh, een mooie dik soep ook. Ja, en dan trouwen we een mooie... Uh, uh, Braaf. Braaf, een mooi, mooi, ja. mooi bouillon. Juist. Nee, die bouillon ziet er goed uit. Het, uh, ik heb het op zacht vuur gezet, mama, om te, om ah, te ja, koken. Goed. Want de Amiti is ook zacht voor geleidelijk, toch? Ah, ja. So, we've just finished grated the cassava. And the plantain. So now what I'm gonna do, I am going to mix this. And you wanna mix this well, you guys. You wanna make sure that everything is blended together. Yes, schat, what is it? Hmm? I can not spelen. I put this koken to. As I'm klaar ben met koken, dan kom ik met je spelen, ja? Okay, dus je gaat een ei. Yeah. And that ei is om. Om te binden. Oké. Okay. Oké. Okay. Gaan we nu een beetje zwarte pieper erin zetten. En een beetje zo. Zo. En dan gaan we weer roeren. Je neemt een beetje van dat mengsel op een lepel en dan? Maak je het mooi met die, met die kleine lepel. Oké. Okay. En dan doe je het in die soep waar het kookt. Maar waar dan moet je het met, die, met, met deze, met die kleine lepel, moet je het zo ja, ja, ja. in die soep ja. deponeren. Oké. Okay. Ja. Oké, okay, guys. So basically what you do, you make the dumplings, 
and then you put them in the soup just like so and then when they rise to the top they turn color and that is when you know they're done okay it's it up to it and it makes you that's a bit of break it up no it might be soup bigger okay now we're going to do the cocos melon set up yes and one black cocos melon yes Hij is meer sweet hier, hè? Mooi, die drinkt hij. Hij is akkoord boom. En die wanneer die... Die dumpling zien er ook goed uit. Nice! Dat was een stomtompje. Ah, hij is ook denk ik gevaarlijk. Oké, dan gaan we diezelfde rij erin zetten, zo. En natuurlijk de ajuma. Dat we tap naar patu, dan laten we het op laag vuur. Nog hoe lang? Tien minuten? Drie minuten. Drie minuten. 3 tot 5 minuten. Looking good, looking good. And there we have our delicious Greet Bana Supu, otherwise known as Grated Green Plantain Dumpling Soup. What a mouthful, right? I know. But trust me when I tell you that this smells delicious. I tasted it. It tastes delicious. And we are about to chow down. And chow down we did. It was delicious. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not a big fan of Greet Bana Supu. I'm much more a fan of my okra soup or my cassava soup or my peanut soup, all of which I have made videos of and all of which you can find right here on the channel if you want to know how to make one of those soups. But it was delicious nonetheless. And yes, mom did go home with her doggy bag. She was like, okay, if you're not gonna eat this soup, I'm gonna take home some because that way I don't have to cook tomorrow. She was already thinking ahead. Anyways, thank you to my mom, special thank you to my mom for, you know, supervising the whole thing and to my little nephew for adding that little um, oomph to, you know, the, the, the afternoon. I wanna thank you all for watching. If you do decide to try this one, because I'm pretty sure that it doesn't matter in which part of the world you live, you will be able to find most of these ingredients. If you decide to try this recipe, let me know how it turns out because I'm always interested in hearing from you. In the meantime, do be well, take care, happy cooking, happy eating, don't add crazy to the craziness, and don't forget to pick up a copy of my album today. It is good music and it, it, it's receiving great and rave reviews, okay, from the people who actually, like myself, work in the entertainment industry and who know a thing or two about music. So, thank you once again, and I will see you when I see you. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.